back to our channel. Today we're going to be showing y'all how to install this roof vent. We've been waiting on this for a couple of weeks. We ordered this one off of Amazon. We're so excited that it's finally here. The brand is fantastic and this is the 1200 series. I'm also going to link it in the description box below. So yeah, we're going to get this unboxed. This is what we're working with. So all of these screws are different. We began by scraping off some of the old paint that was surrounding the roof vent. So guys, we are up here this morning. We started last night trying to get this roof in out and the tar up here is like so thick, it took forever, so we ran out of light. So we got back up here first thing this morning to try to finish it up so we can get this roof in out and install the new one before it gets 100 degrees here in Mississippi. Each screw needed a different bit and they all ended up being stripped anyways. So the only way we could get those off was by using vice grips. This looks like the original one that was put in in 1960 and they put about 10 pounds of tar all the <laughs> way around it and it's literally taken me two days to get it undone but we finally got it yay all right all right y'all i'm up here on the roof and i finally got this roof in out so now i'm using my little multi-tool and it's got like a little scraper with it and I'm using that to get as much of this tar off as I can so I can have a clean seal whenever I put the new butyl tape and sealant on there. I did try to use just a normal paint scraper but this stuff is so tough it's been on here for so long. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. I have the Craftsman and I highly recommend getting this because it has come in handy. All right, this right here will be the butyl tape and the screws that go with the roof vent. You can buy all this on Amazon. It's the same thing that we put under the window on the back, as y'all seen in the previous video. This goes underneath the vent fan to prevent water from leaking in it. And then we will also put some lap sealant self-leveling. We will link all these items so y'all can order them off Amazon. You can keep this and actually use this right here for your cutout. You can just lay that on top 
trace it out, and that's the perfect cutout to fit. But ours already has a hole in it, so we don't need that. We will flip it over and put the lay it down like that. And we will grab the butyl tape all the way around the edge, just like on the window. screws to go to the inside for the vent cover. So we removed the old roof vent and we're getting ready to install the new one. You kind of always want to make sure, roll it up just a little bit. And always make sure that the flap is going toward the back so the wind does not catch it and break it off when you're going down the road. That wouldn't be very good. All right, guys, the butyl tape's under here. Now we're fixing to install the screws. These are hex screws that come with the butyl tape. Go around and screw all the screws in the pre-drilled holes. replacement lap sealant. We'll be going around the whole roof vent just to make sure no excess water gets in anywhere and around all the screws. Make sure it's getting a good tight seal. No more water damage. 